my name is Krista Phelan. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what's in my birth center bag because it's a little different than what's in a hospital bag. Okay, so I'll start with my diaper bag. I've shown this in another video, but this is from Bye Bye Baby. And I think this is the cutest bag ever. I'm not sure if I will regret not getting like the backpack kind because this is just like over the shoulder, but I absolutely love this diaper bag. So where should we start? I will start with the items that are like the toiletry type things. So first of all, I brought a little toiletry bag. So in here I have two toothbrushes for me and my husband. I've got a mini toothpaste. We use all natural toothpaste, but you know, for the sake of convenience, we're gonna do it this way. This is an all natural deodorant that I don't even know that I'll want or use. Um, I don't put unnecessary things on my body unless I have to. So I try to only use deodorant when I'm leaving the house. That sounds gross, but I don't really sweat that much. I also have a hairbrush. And then in this little bag, I have, um, I have bobby pins. I haven't had any coffee. I don't ever drink coffee, but my brain is kind of off today. So I'm trying to like turn it back on. In this little bag, I have hair ties, bobby pins, and then that those really good um, head band things with the rubber on them so that it doesn't slip off. Here's my question. So I see these birth videos and these moms have makeup on and their hair looks literally perfect. So do I bring makeup? Like, is that something I'm gonna want for pictures after he's here? I don't know. I think I would like to have makeup on when I get there, but I know me and I wanna just throw my hair up, like probably just wash everything off. I really don't know what I'm gonna do about that. A few more things. So this little bottle that they gave in the bag for my birth center, apparently you like spray it down there when you're going potty. Apparently that really helps. I'm bringing lavender. And then pretend you see jasmine essential oil, lavender just because it's my favorite, and uh, jasmine because it's supposed to help with contractions and I don't know, might as well try it. I have some wipies that I don't really know if I'm going to use or want, but maybe I'll want to take my makeup off. I'm bringing pads. I don't think you get your milk that soon, but I'm overpacking, okay? I, I don't... I have so many bags that we're taking and I don't know what I need. All I know is I would rather carry five bags in there and have everything I need versus have Andrew have to like run to the store. Not for these, whatever. I don't know. It's, it is what it is. They give you a bark bag. So there's that. I'm gonna have my speaker and I have a playlist on Spotify already ready to go. It'll have a charger, obviously. Little tip from the birthing class that I took. She said that when you make a playlist, you want to pick songs that have a strong beat. I didn't need to do that. But you wanna pick songs with a strong beat. So she had me test this by, we had um, a bucket of water with like filled with ice. So she had me put like this really beautiful song on that I thought is what I would want the whole time. It's like one of my favorite singers. It's a worship song. Jen Johnson, if you guys know who she is. And so I'm putting my hand in it and I'm like singing to her music. And after like 10 or 15 seconds, I'm like, oh my gosh, this isn't distracting me. Like this is getting really painful. And then it started irritating me and I almost wanted to turn the music off. And so I told her, I was like, that's weird. So then we put like a really fast song on, like it's still a worship song, but it was like an upbeat one. I put my hand in the water and this time like I was like swaying to the music and singing to it and for whatever reason it was night and day difference and she said she finds that most of her clients want to be like moving or tapping to a beat so friendly little tip for you if you haven't made your playlist yet I am bringing biofreeze because I use this once in a while when my muscles are hurting I had a neck injury a couple years back so I figured maybe if I was like in a ton of pain, like roll this on or maybe like icy hot. So this is one of those things that I don't want to make Andrew have to run and go get during the whole process if I'm like in pain, not labor pain, but just other pain. 
I'm bringing a sack to put wet clothes in. Somebody recommended that, so just, you know, all of our wet stuff because we want to have a water birth. These are from the birthing center. These are like super cool mesh panties. They seem tight though. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but they seem like they're, they're little. And then, <laughs> so my friend just got engaged yesterday and we were laughing because while she was getting engaged, I was buying adult diapers. So, <laughs> here you go. I have a whole pack of these and I absolutely intend on wearing these a lot. So I'm bringing a pair with me. I also don't know if a heating pad will come in handy. I have it in my postpartum basket for home, but I'm gonna bring this to the birthing center. I don't know, they probably have some. Maybe I should ask, I have an appointment today. So, uh, heating pad. So I'm not 100% sure what I want to labor in, what I want after labor, and what I want to wear home. I, cause like, I don't know, how do you know? So what I chose, I imagine I'll be somewhat naked laboring because I'm probably not gonna care. Um, a woman told me that these Medela nighttime nursing bras are like perfect for laboring in because they're super soft and obviously it's nursing so you can just like pop it out. But um, I ordered the black one, this one's so see-through. So I'm gonna have the black Medela nursing bra on and then underwear I'm assuming and then just some shorts. A lot of women said skirts. That would drive me nuts if I had a skirt on. I don't really like skirts. I mean, unless I've got high heels on and I'm going out. But <clears throat> no, no, no. Just some shorts and then if I get really frustrated with clothes, I'm just gonna strip it all off and just have that bra on. I don't think that I'll be braless because I am gonna be taking pictures and videos. So probably not gonna do that. And then option two to labor in, or for directly after the baby's born, I don't know. I have this super cool black, uh, it's just a gown, and it's a nursing gown from uh, Pee in the Pod. And it's just like, looks super comfy, I haven't even tried it on. So I'll be having that for after, and like pictures, I'm assuming. And then my friend, Got me this adorable robe. It's um, it's like floral, same length robe. So I'll probably just wrap that over me. And that's what I plan on wearing after, if not that dress during. And then for going home, this is the part that I'm really clueless about. I don't know what I wanna wear home. So I just have black leggings. I have a nursing cami that like unhooks. And then I have my favorite sweater. So it's just like a super cozy, like throw on green sweater. And that's what I intend to wear home. We will see if that's what I keep on or if I just wear that dress home. I don't see why I'll change. I live in California, it, you know, it's not gonna be cold. And then for Andrew, I just have boxers, a tank top or like a whatever, a tank top. And then um, swim trunks for him. I don't really know if he needs anything else. Like, you know, probably deodorant and he has a toothbrush. So I don't know. It's not like we're gonna be staying there overnight. And then I'm bringing my nursing cover slash car seat cover just in case it's chilly. I don't know if it will be, um, but if it is, I'll wrap that around the car seat, I imagine. I don't know, bringing it anyways. So that's what we have for us. And then I also need to add flip flops for myself and for Andrew. Now on to the absolute most adorable part ever. He will be coming home in the cutest outfit that my sister-in-law Sarah got us. And it says, meet Hezekiah. <clears throat> and then it's this little hat that says Hezekiah. <clears throat> Sorry, there's like something in my throat. <clears throat> it's this little onesie, meet Hezekiah. And then all I have is black pants for him that are newborn size. So these are zero to three months. They're gray. I'm gonna bring them both. So that's his outfit for like pictures. And I doubt like we'll be changing him a lot. So, but that's like his coming home from the hospital outfit. And by hospital, I mean birthing center. 
And since I'm a new mom and I'm totally clueless on how much to bring, I'm bringing socks, hand mittens, even though they're already on that outfit. And then I'm just bringing sleepers because I don't know. I don't know am I gonna change him. I have this little brother sleeper. It's a newborn size, but it looks so small. So I'm also bringing this zero to three sleeper that's, oh, so cute. And then I'm bringing a gown that's like open down here. And I don't care if that's too many clothes. Honestly, I'll probably put something else in there too. I have no idea what to put this baby in afterwards. And it's probably not even that important. So I have a cute little whale burp cloth. And then to wrap him up in, I have this blankie that is gray and stretchy. And I don't know if you can see the material. I am obsessed with this blanket. So there's that and it matches his outfit or the Aiden and I gray swaddle blanket, which I'm equally as obsessed with. So I don't know which one we'll put him in, but he's gonna look super stylish either way. Also at our birthing center, they gave us this bag. It's a birth bag, figured I'd show it to you. It's in case I go into labor at home. It's got like all these chucks pads, baggies of, of things like gauze, gloves. So that's kind of intimidating. <laughs> this bag is like hardcore in case we go into labor. <laughs> Dear God, do not let us go into labor at the house. Andrew <laughs> would be so funny trying to deliver a baby. I don't know if he would be the best baby deliverer or the worst. The lady who was teaching our class real life had a 30 minute labor and delivery. She literally started having contractions and the baby like flew out apparently. So we're praying that that doesn't happen. However, we are praying for a supernatural pain-free quick labor and delivery. And a couple nights ago, I had a dream. In the dream, I said, wow, babe, that whole process start to finish only took four hours. I still have energy and I remember it not being painful in the dream. So I'm like, God, is this you? Is this you? If it is you, yes and amen, yes and amen. No pain, no tearing, yes and amen. The only thing that's really missing from my bag that I know of right now is the Earth Mama herbal spray that I will be spraying downstairs. I heard that it works better than the Dermaplast. So I'm gonna be doing that. I also will be bringing a whole bag of padsicles and then I've got extras in the freezer for at home, so I'll have lots of padsicles to be wearing throughout. We'll be bringing a cooler for our placenta, kind of gross, but we are encapsulating it, and I will be taking that postpartum, so I will let you guys know how I feel and how that worked, or if it was placebo, or if it was honestly the best thing ever. Who knows? I have to bring my breast pump, so I'll have a whole separate bag with my breast pump and all of the stuff that goes in it, because I don't know how to use it yet. I'm gonna be bringing pillows and blankets, probably just like two pillows and a blanket to make it feel more like home. They recommended that. And then we will have a whole bag full of food. So I'm gonna bring apple juice, coconut water. They'll have regular water, obviously. For food, the lady who taught our birthing class said frozen grapes are like awesome. And then we'll have granola bars, squeezies, I have almond butter on toast with like hemp hearts and pumpkin seeds. I figured if I could eat that, that's a lot of protein, very healthy little snack that I might like. Maybe peanut butter and jelly. Honestly, I have no idea. And then for food afterwards, I'll have like a small meal, but Andrew will probably go get us something. Maybe not, I might be too hungry where I have to just like slam down Subway or something. I don't know, I'm not exactly sure what to bring. Other than that, I don't know. I think this is all. Obviously, I'm a first time mom. I feel like I'm a little overpacked because I'm gonna definitely pack more, <laughs> but that's okay. I would rather have more than less. I hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions or any advice, definitely leave it in the comments. And please subscribe if you like these videos. You have no idea how much it means to me. Or if you guys wanna see any specific videos, just let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much, you're so awesome. I just pray that you have a blessed day and that you guys are just safe and protected and that God just showers you with his love. So have an awesome day, bye.